In this video, we'll look at how to transpose in Soundtrap. There's three basic ways that you can transpose, and we'll start with MIDI, look at audio, and global transposition. So I'll show each of the three different ways of transposing, all within this same project. So the first, quickest and easiest method is with MIDI. So if I have a MIDI track, we'll look at this marimba part right here. I can edit that in the piano roll by clicking Edit Notes. And I could just go in here and select all these notes and then drag it up or down to transpose it. But even more simply than that, I can just go straight to this MIDI region up here, say Edit, Change Pitch, and then I can move up or down in semitones. So plus one means plus one semitone or one half step. On a guitar, this would be one fret. On a piano, this would be from any black note to the nearest white note above it. If I go up 12, that would be an octave, so that's 12 semitones. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and change it one octave. So if I click plus 12, it'll automatically move that, and you can see here reflected in the piano roll, that whole section of notes has been shifted up one octave. So MIDI happens basically instantly. Audio happens quickly, but it takes a little bit of time for Soundtrap to process that. So let's look at how to do that with audio now. So now let's say I have a piece of audio right here, and I also want to transpose this. So I will select that track, go to this audio region. Let's listen to how this sounds before we start. Outside this body, I will soar. And then we'll transpose it. Again, we'll go edit, change pitch, and we can change it up one semitone or down one semitone or however many we want. For this one, let's just go up one. So we'll just wait a minute while Soundtrap transposes that. And now we'll hear that same audio in the same tempo, but obviously transpose up one half step. Outside this body, I will soar. So that's how you would transpose one single audio track. And now let's look at the third way of transposing, which is a global transposition that transposes everything in your project. I'm gonna go ahead and undo this transposition, and I'm gonna unsolo Sanjana's vocal track. Zoom out. So if you look down at the center, you'll see the project key is listed here. You might see just a dash, which means you need to tell Soundtrap what key it's in, and then from there it can transpose. So I've already told Soundtrap that this song is in F major, and so now when I transpose and pick any other key, that transposition will happen accurately. So let's say maybe I'm working with a group of singers and this song needs to be changed into a key that fits their range better. So I might change it from F major and maybe move it down to E major. So I'll click E major and now all audio tracks and all MIDI tracks are gonna be transposed down one half step. And Soundtrap is just confirming that you do want to change everything and letting you know that it's gonna take a minute to adjust all those audio files. I'm gonna say adjust and that will keep it in the same tempo, but change the key down one half step. So here's what it sounds like in the original key before the transposition. And now that Soundtrap has finished that global transposition, we can hear that same section one half step lower. And that's it. Those are the three ways of transposing in Soundtrap. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.